All right, so I know this laptop's kind of camouflaging into my desk, but um, we're gonna show how to open up and disassemble this Acer Aspire S7-391-6822. All right, so we're going to be using a T6 or Torx 6 screwdriver, and we're gonna remove all the screws from the bottom. <clears throat> you wanna keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that, I put them flat side down on my desk in the pattern I remove them. So you can see it's like following this rectangular pattern. So we're just gonna remove them and leave them in that pattern. I don't know if there were rubber pieces covering these parts before. Most likely there were. Um, again, these are customer computers. I don't own them. So I don't know what was done to them or anything like that. They were trying to install Windows to it and it was having issues. I tried clearing out all the partitions and installing Windows and it got stuck at around 6%. I left it there for like over an hour. It wasn't moving. So I'm going to open it up and see if I can see what's going on. The keyboard was having some issues. So I'm wondering if the keyboard is maybe acting like it's pressing a bunch of keys and stopping the um, install from working properly. But I flipped it over and I noticed that. So maybe it has some kind of liquid or spill damage. But um, let's go ahead and open it up and find out. <clears throat> If this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, and share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, <clears throat> please consider contributing a little to the channel so that I can continue making these videos for a living. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and continue. I'm going to try with a suction cup to see if I can pop this bottom cover off. So I'm going to hold this area down here with my fingernail and, oh, it comes up pretty easily. So I don't know if they've opened this before and the clips are broken. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, one other thing to take note, there's this little hole here with a battery icon on it. So if you press and hold that with a pin, it's basically like a battery release reset kind of thing. So keep that in mind. If your computer is having some issues, sometimes pressing that button can help. Usually it's more for like boot, like power issues. Um, all right, so it's mostly coming up, but I don't know. The back doesn't seem to want to move anywhere, so I don't know what's up with that. We're going to go ahead and try and pop this up and see what's going on. All right, oh, there we go. So I have to kind of like slide my fingernail in here. You can use plastic pry tools again. You don't have to use fingernails. It looks like, is there a hidden screw? No. Okay, so we're just going to keep working our way over, and there we go. <clears throat> so we got the bottom cover off. Um, I'm going to try disconnecting the keyboard and then we're going to um, attempt to install the OS with the keyboard disconnected because I have a feeling it might be related to the keyboard. Um, it is pretty dusty in here, so I am going to have to clean that up. You can see it's pretty gross. Battery model number you can see right here. Maybe they did open this up. Maybe, I don't know if there's an aftermarket battery. Um, I don't see... A sir on here anywhere all right maybe I'm missing something but I don't see anything that says a sir anywhere here's the battery model number AP 12 f3 J um, the texture of this doesn't look like an original Acer battery whatever they coated this with I could be wrong but um yeah there's the BIOS CMOS RTC real-time clock battery whatever you want to call it here you can remove the connector there, but you will have to kind of get this battery out of the way a little bit. Um, but yeah, you can just pull that connector out <clears throat> if you need to remove the BIOS battery for some reason. Um, the fans are filled with dust, so I am going to have to clean that up. <clears throat> um, all right, so this has, uh, okay, this looks bad. So this has an M.2, or not an M.2, um, I believe this is a M SATA SSD and you can see here this looks bad so it probably got some liquid damage or something that messed it up and that's probably why it's not working. We'll see if I clean it up if that's going to work. Um, I believe this is the keyboard connector. You can see there's some liquid residue or something on there. Uh, all right what else do we got here? <clears throat> so there's two connectors here. All right, let's go ahead and actually take out this battery so we can see what's underneath. Um, it looks like we're gonna use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. 
<coughs> bless. <laughs> All right. Got that screw out. <coughs> there you go. So I'll lift this up. <clears throat> and we're just going to look underneath. Let's uh, actually pull this battery connector out. This battery connector is a little tricky to remove because you can't really reach in there. Um, so you're going to have to kind of move the cable. Usually I would kind of wiggle it, but I guess it came out just from pulling on it like that. You can see the bottom. It's all bubbly, and that's usually the batteries going bad. Those are probably like dendrites forming, which are like crystallized lithium or something forming underneath. Um, anyways, here you can see this small connector is for this looks like a microphone There's a little rubber with a hole there and then you got this cable for the touchpad or trackpad. This um, seems to be the keyboard Cable here again. I'm gonna flip that latch up and disconnect it. Oh, I'm getting dust all over my desk So I should actually clean that I'm gonna pull this cable out and we're gonna try with a USB keyboard to install Windows This is probably the touchpad or maybe the camera in the screen um, this is usually going to be the keyboard backlight connector. They all have these little latches where you can flip it up and pull the cables out. Actually, because there's one on each side, this is probably the fan connector, actually. Alright, um, yeah, I see fan one. They actually label it here. This one, this one's not labeled. Oh, fan two. Okay, they wrote it sideways, so it's fan two. Alright, <clears throat> so that's kind of nice. They label stuff here for you. I don't know what this is because it's trapped underneath and there's a cable on top. Let's see if we can get this out. CCD1, what's that? There's all these like codes next to it. I don't know what they mean. Uh, maybe someone that diagnoses those things might know. You got this here. I think this is for those LEDs that are on top that show you the battery charge status and power status. Um, and then this is probably the LCD or LVDS connector. If you're going to mess with these connectors that go into the screen, you do want to disconnect the battery, then open up the laptop, press and hold the power button for about uh, 15 seconds um, to drain any residual power, and then you can go ahead and close it back up. But um, yeah, all right, then they have the motherboard model information here. And I think that's, is that a fingerprint sensor? I didn't really pay attention. Um, there's nothing there, so I don't know what this is. This might be like a NFC or something, or... Um, okay, it says something with keyboard, ELKB1. So this goes into the keyboard, and then this goes up to the motherboard. Maybe that's the keyboard backlight, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Anyways, there's not much else to show in here. I'm not going to be taking the whole thing out. Oh, the DC jack or charge port here looks to be removable. Um, but it connects underneath the motherboard here, so you might have to take the motherboard out to get that out of here, actually. Um, unless you can reach it, but I can't really tell. Alright, anyways, I'm going to clean the dust out, and I'll be back. See you guys in a bit. Alright, so I'm back. Here you can see um, I cleaned it up quite a bit. There's a lot less dust in here. Okay, cleaned out the battery as well. And the fans are no longer filled with dust. Alright, so anyways, again, we're going to disconnect the battery here. <clears throat> Let's see if I can grab it out. I'm going to grab the blue tab and pull that. And there we go. The connector looks okay, so I don't know. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and reconnect the battery. And we're going to put this back together. So I think I have a customer here right now, so I better hurry. Let's go ahead and push that back in. <clears throat> get this all back into place. There we go. And then let's go ahead and get the screw. So battery screw first, the middle one. All right. Oh yeah, my customer is here, so I'm going to have to go. But anyways, let's get this cover back on and then we're gonna put the screws back and we're good to go. So we're gonna push these back clips in first. Okay, once we got all that lined up, just put that back, and we're going to put back all the T6 or Torx 6 screws. Um, but that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys. Again, if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. Again, if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, <clears throat> you're welcome to stay as I put back all the screws. Um, 
but that's all there is for this model. All right. I am going to again try to do the Windows install. If you try to, if you're trying to go to the BIOS, I believe it's F2. You might have to hold the function key and press F2 to get into it. Um, and then you can move around the boot devices. I don't know if there's a special key to do temporary boot device. Um, but other than that, yep. Yeah. All right, let's get these last four screws in and that's all there is to it. My customer is actually calling right now, so I'm going to have to go. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Alright, let's drop this bite.